Hey everyone, it's Bob McCraney with Texas Pride Realty. Just want to give you a wrap up on 2015. It's been a crazy year. Uh, almost every year is a crazy year, but this one's just been a little crazier than normal. So um, there's four or five things that have happened this year that have been different than other years uh, that have made the Dallas market very interesting this year. First is corporate growth and relocation into the city. We've had a lot of national firms move into the North Dallas and and downtown Dallas area. Uh, it's driven a lot of economic growth. We had the Cowboys moving from Arlington, I'm sorry, from Irving up into the Frisco area. We have State Farm. We have all sorts of people moving in. So that's driven a lot of growth. And that in turn has led to the second factor, which is it's an extreme seller's market right now. It still is. Um, normally, if you have six months of inventory, it's equilibrium. We have about a month and a half inventory in the North Dallas area right now. So it's it's an extreme seller's market. If you're a buyer, you are running every day trying to get in front of the other buyers for these houses. Um, I don't recall a, a seller's market that's been this strong in a long time. And the predictions we're hearing are that this market will continue into 16 and stay pretty strong. There might be a correction in 17. Um, don't know how strong that correction is going to be. And I'm going to keep my ear open to hear what the economists have to say. So the um, the first one is, is job growth. The second one is the extreme seller's market. The third one is crime and collapse in Oaklawn. Um, there's a lot of crime in Oaklawn right now. People are getting attacked. And that's, uh, I think, slowing the market in Oaklawn a lot. And then the collapse of the... Um, the garage at Renaissance uh, Tower uh, has also impacted the condo market. Um, we don't expect to have people having to park on the streets for blocks and blocks and blocks away. So those two elements, I think the crime in Oakland really has to get under control for the, before the Oakland market gets damaged uh, more than it's already going to be with, with what's going on. The fourth thing for me is the tornadoes and construction. The tornadoes... Um, that you've been hearing about just happened a few days ago they are going to pull resources away from new home construction because we have to rebuild these homes uh, there's 80 or 90 or more homes I don't know the total count that have got to be rebuilt so these families can can move back into them um, and that's going to pull resources and workers away from building new homes that we need to fill the already tight market so a tight market is going to get even tighter uh, so those are four things that we have not normally had in any other cycle that have made 2015 just very unique. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home this year, give me a call. I'd be very happy to help you in 2016. Get, your, get yourself into this market and help you navigate uh, the best way for you as a buyer or a seller. So I'm starting my 14th year in real estate this year. I'm very happy with that. I'm also starting to do uh, some coaching with the Tom Ferry Your Coach system. So I'll be a coach uh, nationally for some of the real estate agents that he has in his system. And I'm very excited about that. So more to come. I'll be uh, putting out more newsletters throughout the year. But Happy New Year. 2015 has just been stellar. Our numbers are way up from last year. Um, just because we've worked really hard. I'm very proud of my agents. Um, so 15 has been a great year. Let's make 16 a safe, happy year for everybody. Happy New Year. Please stay safe on the roads um, and, and st or, or just stay home and celebrate at home because we want you around in 2016. Hope you have a great time and I'll be talking with you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.